Uh, my name is Adam Park. I'm the uh, director of a feature documentary called The Amber Light, which is playing here at Santa Barbara International Film Festival. Um, the Amber Light is a, uh, a documentary looking at um, whiskey's role in Scottish culture and how they influence each other and how they intertwine. Um, so not really about process, but more about um, whiskey's influence on uh, literature and, and uh, music and society and, uh, you know, through the ages. Yeah. You know, I took a trip through Scotland Okay. based on the 14 rivers that divide Scotland horizontally. Amazing. And I, because at one end of, at each end of each river, mm -hmm. there in fact is a, a distillery. Okay, yeah, yeah. So I visited every distillery and every river yeah, amazing. in the entire country. That's a great way of doing it. And that it. was the I only just, thing that, I wanted to do in Scotland <laughs> was visit all those distilleries. That was probably a better way of framing my film. <laughs> it was fantastic Rivers. because they did a tasting everywhere you went. Yeah, of course. And then you couldn't yeah. drive. Yeah, yeah. And then when I was sober enough to drive, I'd drive to the next one. Yeah, to the and, next and one. It was, yeah, yeah. it was one of the most amazing trips I've ever taken. Yeah, it is pretty magical, yeah. And, and I regret a little bit, although I get to go back, that I didn't stop and do anything else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I do understand the culture. It, it is, pardon the pun, but ingrained yeah, yeah. in the culture. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it's a magnificent process. Yeah. But you approach it not from the process, but rather, I like this idea of it's it's got a literary connection. It's got yeah. a musical connection. Yeah, yeah. How did you discover all that? Um, well, I made the film with a gentleman by the name of uh, Dave Broom, who's been writing about whiskey and spirits for a long time. So, so we, we both really clicked on, um, you know, uh, loving music and loving literature and, and really wanting to explore why, why Scotland, you know, and why it has this, this um, you know, unique relationship with the country. I mean, it's, it's a huge export, you know, on a purely... Uh, business level it's it's a huge uh, um, you know it's a huge um, a product that's produced there you is, know so is it maybe their largest export uh, I'd imagine so I mean I don't like I, it's it's definitely up there apart from um, tartans and skirts yeah yeah they've yeah. got a fair amount of oil off the <laughs> yeah. thing, but, yeah. oh they do <laughs> yeah, I didn't yeah, realize yeah, that do. oh you're right up in the North yes, Sea yes they do yeah, yes yeah. they do um, but I don't I don't uh, I, it's huge anyway and and but but there's certainly no other product that is really like no, you know, intertwined no, with yes, the country. Yes. You know? wow. um, but you know, writers have used it as a metaphor for Scotland. Um, musicians have used it uh, in song, for better or worse. You know, there's a dark side and a light side, and Scottish literature has this dark and light kind of um, schizophrenic kind of uh, mm. quality. You know, Jekyll and Hyde, the ultimate oh, kind yes, of that's right. the ultimate story. Actually, I read that book on my trip. Oh, amazing! Yes, yeah, it yeah. was. It was wonderful. So the, the, so the yes. idea is that Jekyll and Hyde mm. is about this doctor, and then when he drinks, he becomes yes. Mr. Hyde. Yes. So, so we wanted. We also wanted to to make sure that um you know that it you know you know Scotch has harmed as many people as it's uh, as it's uh, improved. You know, uh, you know there is some people can't handle it, and and I think that has a that's also a unique uh, and interesting kind of. Uh, story to explore yeah. yeah i can't handle vodka or tequila but i can certainly handle scotch yes. do you have a favorite one <laughs> a favorite scotch yes um i like uh, a lot of the blends uh, there's mm. a lot of i think also at the we look in our film about like the new wave of whiskey makers like like craft beer or natural wine okay. you know people doing in a uni that's doing stuff in a unique way doing interesting things that you know, not everybody loves, but you know, <laughs> you know, quite sort of divisive because they're doing interesting things with flavor and approach. And I really like what people, the funky things that people are well, doing. Well, that's interesting know? too because I'm still diehard. I'm still a single malt. Yeah, of yeah. course. Yeah. But all right, I'll banter out. Yeah, do look at Compass Box. It's a great company. Compass Box. Compass Box. Yeah, right, that's then. and they do all sorts of different blends. And okay. They're fascinating. They I'll do amazing I, things. I gave it a try. Yeah. Thank you for stopping and speaking with Thank us. Thank you very much. Thank Cheers. You Thank you. <laughs>